getting out and learning what the outdoors is. This week, we're gonna talk about shotgun safety and what you need to know about to be safe when you're out and about shooting. This is game shooting, clay shooting. To me, a shotgun, the safety measures is the same, whatever you're shooting. A safe gun is an open gun. The most important thing you need to be thinking about, always wear earphones. Earplugs, even the molded ones, are not the best for your hearing because the, 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 the noise goes in the soft part of your hear, ear as well. So the plugs, you've got little foam plugs or you've got the plastic molded ones. Personally, I would stick to phones. Now I know there's hundreds of, of companies that say they do all the molded, molded, molded earphones. If you want to protect your hearing the best, phones are the only thing. And you can either do the electronic Pelter ones or the ordinary ones. The ordinary ones are 25 pounds. Best thing you'll do. A lot of people, I can remember when I was shooting Double Trap and Pete Wilson was the one that really started this, is he used to wear earplugs and earphones. It all depends on how much you want to look after your hearing. But really, I would recommend these over the top of plugs, the molded ones or the soft ones. Obviously, I've got a nice shooting channel baseball cap, but you could have any baseball cap. There's loads out there. Um, generally, they're about £20, that sort of thing. Uh, and this stops, if you clay, on a clay ground, stops bits of clays hitting you. You can take them off when you're shooting, because I know the peak gets in the way. But generally, when you're walking around the clay ground, a baseball cap is your main thing. A pair of glasses, I personally feel, doesn't matter where you're shooting, is very, very important. The last thing you want to do is get a piece of clay in your eye or something in your eye. Your eyes are very important to you. Get yourself. These are Evolution, the simple ones, 15 quid a pair, or then you can get the sets. So that's really the basic kit you need for the safety. A pair of glasses, a set of earphones, a cap, and I would say a skeet vest as well. The other thing is a gun slip. Now, I don't mind people, a lot of, when you're shooting trap, a lot of people walk around without a gun slip. The gun slip keeps it, it shows people it's safe. Um, it keeps it protected. It's well worth getting yourself a gun slip. You can get a gun slip from second hand one from 15, 20 quid, right up to three or 400 quid. You can pick your, your world's your oyster. Stock up, barrel down. And the reason why that is solid, it's not gonna fall out of there. If I put that there, <coughs> that could fall out. That zip could break straight away. You've done yourself 500 pounds worth of damage with your new gun. You open the slip to about there. The gun comes out. You break the gun with the top lever. It's safe. Everyone can see it's empty. The gun comes out. When the gun goes back in, <coughs> close the gun up and it's there best most safest way of doing it everyone knows it's safe you can either hold it that's about the best way you can hold it like that perfectly safe I don't mind people holding it like that but if you do hold it like that and you walk around make sure there's nobody there and smack it over your over their head last thing you want to do is get a stock in somebody's head that I think is a definite no-no it just looks a cowboy act right so that's a no you can hold it like that, obvious reasons, not like that. The hold, hold it on your toe, like that, there. I personally wouldn't do that, because if you put that on the concrete, you're going to damage the end of your gun. So the gun is on your toe, there, perfectly safe. If you don't, don't want to hold the gun, you can always put it into the rack. So it's there. The last thing you want to do is that, and then put it up. You want to aim the barrels towards the sky, close the gun up, the gun is there and it's always stocked out, trigger guard facing out, barrels up. When it comes out, the gun is pointing to the sky. You take it there, you break it, you then come down. That makes sense? One more. So the gun is close to the eye, the gun is in the rack like that. Or you take it out, there. <coughs> when you walk up, to the stand, 
You walk up to the stand, the first most important thing you want to do is put your glasses and your headphones on. A lot of people, this is a definite no-no. They put the cartridges in the gun, they put the gun like that, and they do that, all right? And I've seen a hundred of people doing that. Now, if you do that, A, you press that trigger and that comes all back at you. B, doesn't look good, completely dangerous. That rail is there, the first most important thing. You do not put your cartridges in that gun until that gun is over that rail. So the gun is over that rail, and this is the bit that everyone picks up on me. A lot of it, the, all the courses and everything you're on, you say, whether it's game shooting or clay shooting, everyone says, stock to barrel. Now what's wrong with doing that? Are you going to be shooting straight into the ground? Even if you do that, you could shoot something there. <coughs> if it's game shooting, you'll shoot a hedge. You could shoot a dog that's running about your feet. The safety point of view is the gun is closed into your line of view. So the cartridges are in the gun. The gun is there. Pull. So I close the gun to where I'm looking. Pull. Close the gun to where I'm looking, pull. pull. Safety catch. Most modern guns, the most important thing you need to think about is an open gun is a safe gun. Now this has got a manual safety on it, so I have to pull it off and pull it off. Now a lot of the old fashioned guns, they have safety. Every time you open them, safety comes off. Now, I personally don't like that because you have to, when you close the gun, you have to push that forward. On, a, on this, I know my gun is open, it's safe. Quite simple information. The gun is closed, it's ready to fire. So that is the most important thing you need to be thinking about. When that gun is closed, it's ready to fire. An open gun is a safe gun. If you close that gun up with an auto safety, that goes there. If somebody's out there, you're holding that gun there. And you're say, a lot of people say to me, I'm walking along or I'm, I'm doing a, a walked up shoot and I'm walking along there and a lot of people say, no, the safety's on. You don't know that that gun is safe. That gun could go off at any minute. And common courtesy, when you walk up like that, all you do, is break the gun, all right? You don't need to take the safety off or on. You know, if you're walking like that and somebody walks up, you break the gun, you talk to them, you walk off. And again, it comes down, an open gun is a safe gun. And that is the most important thing you need to be thinking about. When you walk off, the gun is closed, you put the gun up there and the gun is back into there. And that is the basic safety rules. And that is why, that is why in all my videos, I close my gun into my line of view. This gun to stop, it's an old, it doesn't work. It's not a safe thing to do. You need to be thinking to yourself, close the gun into your line of view, all right? The other thing, a lot of, a lot of clay shooters have their gun there because they want to be ready. If you want to be safe, when you're game shooting, a finger there, and you close the gun there. When you're clay shooting, you want everything ready when you're, so you're ready to pull that trigger, when you'll pull the trigger. So you put your finger on the trigger. If you want to go game shooting, then yes, you have your finger there. So the cartridge in the gun, finger there, and then you put your finger on the trigger. So that's why people put their fingers there. But for clay shooting, people know they're safe. They know they're gonna pull that trigger. Uh, let's go for the, let's go and find a game area. So now we're going to have a look at where we close and open that gun. So on a game shoot, the beaters are generally, you might have some flaggers in front of you. The beaters will generally be coming over the hill and driving the birds to you. You might have a flagger just there. So the last thing you want to do is close that gun there. You might have a dog 
or you might have somebody stood on the peg that's got a dog. Now, in the heat of the moment, that dog may have moved. So if you do that, goodbye dog, all right? Last thing you want to do is shoot it. And this is why you always close that gun into my line of view. So you look where the flaggers are, and you look where any beaters are, and you close the gun there. Because if I pull the trigger there, it's perfectly safe. It's not gonna harm anyone. That gun is in a safe place. So that is why, that hopefully that answers the questions about when people say, why do I close the gun up like that? I close the gun into the safety side. And that is the most important thing about shotgun safety. It's about, remember what I said, an open gun is a safe gun, and where you close that gun up doesn't make any difference whether you're on a clay ground or on a, or on a game shoot, you close that gun to where you're shooting. I hope you enjoyed that. Any comments, please like and subscribe and comment below. Please share to your friends and have a look at what other films we've done. And it's all there to try and encourage you to get into shooting this great sport.